The Supreme Court this week, um, in a 5-4 decision, struck down, uh, handed down the decision on Hall versus Virginia. I mean, excuse me, Hall versus Florida. Now, Florida uses a bright line IQ threshold of 70 points to determine if an inmate is too intellectually disabled to be executed. And in the 5-4 decision written by Justice Kennedy, it struck down the threshold as unconstitutional. And this is how they did it. Basically what they said was, and they talked to a lot of experts, and experts have indicated that over, over time, your IQ score goes up and down within a range. So there is a possibility that yes, when they gave you the IQ score, you scored a 70. But that means a year later, you could score a 75 or a 72, and thus making you, you know, eligible for the execution, but you could also score a 69 the next time, making you uneligible. And what they're saying is, is that, you know, the usual score of above a 70, but it shows that others, there's other signs of disability. So there's other signs of disability outside of just an IQ score, that person should not be executed. Now this adds to the chorus of those who have called for an ending overall to the death penalty in this country. Right, there's been this choir of saying this is so, first it's unhumane, two, we are the only developed country in the world that still believes in this type of corporal punishment, and three, it's just downright wrong, it's immoral, I just don't understand, I don't get it. And this question goes out to all those folks out there who, if you're listening to the show, or you're watching the show, because this is a question I just don't understand. I'll never be able to fathom this. So the Ten Commandments says, thou shalt not kill. Pretty clearly. Thou shalt not kill. And then in the New Testament, God goes on to talk about turning the other cheek. When your brother harms you or hurts you, turn the other cheek. When your brother rapes and pillages your daughter, turn the other cheek. When your brother murders you know, your son, you turn the other cheek. If all those things are true, why is it that some of the, in some of the most religious states in the country, they are fighting so hard to protect the death penalty and murder people? I, I just don't have an answer to that. And that's part of the part of me, that is the part of me, that this is the part of, that I battle about. Because I just don't comprehend how you're able to justify certain things and then ignore the Bible on other things. And I'm saying this from somebody who believes in Jesus, who goes to church. And it blows my mind that people can sit there and, you know, yo, this is about religion, boom, 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 boom. And then on the other hand, say it's totally not about religion. Explain that to me. That's what I want to know. Put in the question out there. I want to hear what you guys think. If you're watching this on the radio, go to our YouTube channel and comment on the video below. Of course, on YouTube, comment.